Now let's learn how this re-rendering of components can actually be stopped by making use of memos. So what we need to do is that we need to go to the child component or any component which we want to prevent re-rendering. So in this particular case, we want to prevent the re-rendering of the child component because it's unnecessarily being re-rendered. And over here, what you simply need to do is that you need to first import React. So let's import React from React. And the only thing which you need to do is that whenever you are exporting a particular component you need to actually go ahead and nest that component using memo so here i'll simply go ahead and just leave it as a normal function and let's export this over here at this line so you need to say export default and then let's just export the child component but even before exporting this particular thing whenever you have to use memos for a particular component you have to go ahead and enclose this thing in react.memo so you need to say react.memo and enclose this particular child component inside the memo. So I'll cut this from here, simply paste it up over here. And now what this memo does is that it will actually memorize this particular child component. It will actually memorize the value of this count it remembers the value of the count and whenever the value of the count changes only in that case this component is going to be re-rendered and in all the other cases the child component won't be re-rendered even if the parent component is re-rendered so let's take a look if this thing would work so i would hit refresh here and here first of all it will obviously say that the child component is being re-rendered because this is the first time and now if i increment the child count it will be re-rendered like that but now if I click on increment for the parent, as you can see, the child component would no longer be re-rendered. And this is because now we are using memos, which understands that the value of the child count remains exactly the same. And henceforth, there's absolutely no need to re-render that component. Now, you might think why to do this? Why exactly are we bothered about re-rendering of the children component? Now, it does not make sense to prevent re-rendering in this particular case. This was just an example. But let's say when you have like hundreds of components nested inside one parent component. And in that case, if you have to render a simple single component, in that case, all the other hundreds of components have to be re-rendered as well. And that causes performance issues because you have to re-render hundreds of components one more time, even if the values do not change. So this is the reason why we go ahead and make use of memos whenever we have to prevent re-rendering of child components. So always remember that whenever you have such kind of a scenario where you want to prevent re-rendering of children, you simply make use of memos in React. And the way in which you use that is you go ahead and while exporting that particular component, you say react.memo and then pass in that component here even before you export that. So that's it for this lecture. Hope you guys were able to make sense of what are memos, what problem they solve and how to use them. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.